Morning everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. Um, I'm going to do an Easter themed painting this morning. Um, I'm going to do um, a Dutch pour cross for Easter, um, for Good Friday. Um, I did, I've done a range of these uh, Dutch pours recently um, where I've laid down a line of colours and blown them out with my mouth. So I'm going to do exactly the same, but on a rectangular canvas. Um, in a cross shape with really nice spring eastery um, colours. Um, so I've got my colours laid out here. Let me show you what I'm going to use. So these are the gorgeous, gorgeous, happy, lovely, lovely colours I'm going to use. So the base I've mixed here. Um, let me show you. It's an off white. So I didn't want just a plain white. I thought it, it would just look a bit too stark. I wanted more of a yellow. So what I've done is mixed Montmartre white and then I've literally added two grams of this graduate acrylic cadmium yellow deep hue and it's given this really, really warm cream colour. I don't really want it brighter than that. I'm, it's just a really lovely, creamy, warm colour. For the Dutch pour design, I've got um, De La Rowney System 3 acrylic phthalo turquoise. Amsterdam Caput Morton Violet, De La Rowney Pearl White, Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent Green Yellow, Amsterdam, what's this one called? Persian Rose, uh, Royal and Langnickel Thalo Cyanine Blue, Pebio Iridescent Gold, and De La Rowney Cerulean Blue. So I've mixed all of these paints with the Oatrol, the UK version of the Floatrol, and I've mixed them two parts Floatrol to one part paint to one and a half parts water, except for these iridescent colours. The iridescent ones um, I've mixed with two parts water to get them to this, all to the, the same consistency. Um, so let's get started. I'm ready to start now. So my canvas is about 60 by 40. Um, I've put big push pins in the back of the canvas. I've hammered them in um, and then I've just turned it back over and just checked that it's level. So I put my spirit level on, on all four edges just to check that it's level. To get the, cr um, the shape of the cross, I've got a big piece of paper and I folded it in half and with a ruler, I've drawn um, the outline of the cross then I've opened it up, so I've now got a perfect cross shape. So I did exactly the same way when I did my heart, a piece of paper folded in half. So I'm going to use that as a template. So I'm going to cover my base, uh, in my, my, my canvas in my base colour, and then I'm actually going to lay this on the paint. So it's going to get very, um, dirt, very painty and it's a bit messy, but at least then I've got the perfect outline because I need it to be absolutely spot on. So first of all, I'm going to cover my canvas in this um, gorgeous, gorgeous, creamy yellow colour. Right, I'm going to put down my cross. Make sure it's in the middle. So I'm happy with the position. Right, these are the, this is the order I'm going to put the colours down in. I've already sorted my order. So I'm going to start with the cerulean blue, do the outline of the cross, and then I will lift this up. Oh, that's not a good start, it's dripped. Right, so there's my outline. I realise it's very, very rough at the moment, but it just doesn't matter at all. So I'm now going to add my Caput Morton Violet, and I'm going to go over the top with a few wiggly lines. You can, of course, just do a cross freehand if you want to, but that makes me nervous because if I get it really wrong, it's going to be more difficult to sort out. So the turquoisey colour, just a little bit of this one. So 
So I'm just going to add a couple more colours back on top. I'm going to add the Caput Mortem Violet just because it's one of my favourites. So the colours that you add on top, the ones that are going to be to stand out the most. Um, the colours I really want are the iridescent green and the pink. I can see the green quite well, the pink less so. So let's just add a little bit more of that. I can see the blues okay. Right, I think I might leave it like that. Right, so now the challenging bit. How on earth am I going to blow this out? Let's just burst the bubbles. Let's start. I was going to say, if I could start there and then blow... I just don't know. I think I'm going to start with one of the start with the corner and blow out. I think that's that's the way I'm going to get a sharpest start the sharpest edge there. And that's I just start in one point and literally just go all the way round. Well, I might do that actually. Right, let's just get started and try. Right, so that's the initial shape. So I'm, I'm happy so far, but it's far too straight for my liking. So I'm now just going to do lots of fiddling with it um, and get these, these edges much more irregular. Right, I think I might be there. I'll probably end up tweaking more bits, but... Um, yeah, I will definitely end up tweaking more. But I'm very close to being finished, which is great. Right, what I haven't said is that I don't want to leave it just like that because it's very bold, very dramatic, but I want to I want to sort of soften it a little bit more. Um the look of the painting. So I've got the bright white cross there in the centre. What I'd like to do now is add more paint to these four corners. So I think, I'm, I'm still not quite worked out how I'm going to do it. I would definitely like another line coming like this and here. And I think potentially almost outlining it. So there's a very thin layer here and then the same here, I think. Um, so I'm just going to now add a little bit more paint. I'm doing this by, by eye now. Right, I've added all the colours except this dark blue because it's got blocked. I think I'm going to leave it out so it might be a bit lighter, this second line.
Oh, now I feel really lightheaded. Right, let's just catch my breath. <laughs> this middle cross is looking gorgeous. The cells and the patterns and the sort of swirling around of the different colours is gorgeous. I'm really, really happy with it. And the longer I leave it, the more that, that develops. Right, so now I've done the basic blowing out of the second line. So I'm now just going to um, tweak that a lot more. Right, I think I might be finished. I'm trying to work out in my mind whether this is it, I leave it like this, or whether I try and do some sort of swirling pattern to pull the paints together in these gaps. Not in the centre, but just in these gaps. Or do I just leave the gaps like they are? can't quite work it out what to do. I can have a little practice down here and see what it looks like and then patch it up again if it doesn't work. I right, see I like that. I've just done a little swirl and it's just softened it. I'm going for it, I think. I'll do it on the outside ones first. Right, I think I'm done. I think I'm finished. And I love it. I'm really, really, really happy with it. I've got gorgeous drippy sides and they're drippy everywhere, which I really like. Right, let me get you in for a close-up. So happy and excited about this painting. Um, it's worked. I had a vision. I had an idea in my mind. And often it, they don't, my, my ideas don't materialise. But I think this has, has worked. Um, I realise that this design isn't for everybody. This isn't everyone's cup of tea. But I am really, really happy with it. Um, let me take you in. When you look in in detail, you'll see just how amazing the colours are and how beautifully they've interacted. Um, I absolutely love swirling through paint because look, that little swirl, I just love it. I think it is so pretty. So you've got the the variation of colours, you've got the cells and you've got the swirls. So it's just a big old jumble of colours and patterns and designs. But you've also got a very simple and yet significant um, design to the painting. Um, I'm really, really glad I've left the centre plain. Um, at one point I'd considered doing swells in the centre and I think you, if I did that you would actually lose the cross which is the whole point of this painting. I think it would have just, it would have then just been too much of a jumble of colour. Um, so you've still got the definite pat, the definite shape, the definite symbol but with this just amazing <laughs> crazy collection of colours and swirls around the outside. Um, so, so, so happy. And I like the colours. They are just happy spring-like. I think the dark blue might be less spring-like, but I've got, haven't got the dark blue in this band here, which I think, so that's probably a little bit more spring-like. Could have maybe put a bit of yeah, more yellow in, but I really like the base colour. Um, it's just not quite so stark as the white. It's just a softer. Um, oh, and the edges. So the edges are all really, really drippy. If I just had one patch of drippiness like that, I would probably do something about it. But because all of the edges are like that, literally all of them, if I can show you that edge, I'm going to keep them. 
I'm just going to get rid of the drips right on the bottom in a second, um, but I'm going to keep the drippy edges because I like that. It just goes with the, the chaos of the painting. Great, I'll be back when it's dry. It's dry. Um, I'm so happy with it. I love how that cross just stands out. It hasn't got lost at all. I think it would have got lost if I'd done the swirly bits in the centre, but leaving it plain in the centre, just it really, really stands out. Um, I think that's also helped by the fact that this this the main cross here has got the most blue in it so it's quite it's quite dark and it stands out so comparing the blue one to the this one without the blue i think that really helps it just it just makes it stand out more um let me take you in for a close up because the details are just gorgeous um the colors are just so swirly and swimmy and they just sort of wrap around each other and i love the swirls Swirls can wreck paintings, and I've wrecked paintings before by adding swirls. But tell me, tell me what you think. But I, I think that these actually really help, um, and they just soften it and just make it look really pretty. Um, there's just some gorgeous details in it. Some little little blocks of cells. Um, let me go down here. Just so so pleased with it, um, and I'm loving this base colour. It's a real yellowy cream and I really like it. I might be daring and try another painting with the same colour but with a bit more yellow. I, I don't want it to be over the top yellow but I think actually this it's such a pretty colour. I think I could yeah just add a little bit more yellow and get away with it. Great, so there it is finished. And um, Do let me know what you think. What do you think works, what doesn't work, let me know. Great, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and a very happy Easter. Take care, everybody. Bye.